Most people would like to visualize their information and data in an engaging way, but many believe it requires too much effort, resources, or time. The good news is that VisMe, an online presentation and infographic tool, recently launched a new feature that allows users to make bits of information more understandable and relatable through many visualizations or what we call infographic widgets. In this short tutorial, we're going to show you how you can use these in your infographics and presentations to create bite-sized visualizations. So for those of you who are not familiar with VisMe's new infographic widgets, we're going to give you a quick review of some of the older ones in the system. So to get to them, all you have to do is click on this icon on the toolbar on the left side of your screen. It's the Charts and Data Widgets icon. And then when you click on it, you see this panel up here. So here we have many different options that you can choose from to visualize your information. You have uh, counters, you have ribbons, you have arrays, clocks, and gauges. So let's go through them one by one so you can see what you can do with them. So the first one, all these here at the top, are circular visualizations. And what you do is you insert your own value here. You can type it in, or you can also adjust a the slider. Then you can also insert a text below the information. So let's say I want to put in the word percent. You can do that here. If I want to change the color of the text, I can also do that. And so let's say I want to change it to blue, I can do that. And then change the color of this circular uh, visualization here as well by going up here. And let's say I want to choose this color. Well, let's see another color that's a little bit more visible. So then you can just readjust the size and you can position it where you want. So this one is similar to that one. It's just a different style. So we can do the same. We can insert our own value. We can change the colors. We can also add a, an additional stroke as well. And then we have the counter, which I'm going to go in a little bit further ahead since that's one of the new features. We have an array, which are individual units of people. So you've seen these kind of visualizations before where you say, for example, one out of 10 people uh, smoke, let's say. And so here you can put the number of icons that you want, and you can also change the color of them. You can also decide how many you want to exhibit per, per row. So let's say you have um, 20 of these, and then you only want to show 10 per row. You can do that here. And then you can also uh, add female icons as well, or you can mix them. So that comes in handy to display statistics. Then you have this uh, visualization here, which is called the ribbon. And basically what this is are like individual bars that you see on a bar chart or bar graph. And so here you can add as many as you like. You just copy them and put them one below each other. So let's say I want to have three of them. I can do that here. And then you insert your text here. So let's say, uh, let's say first, second, I'm just putting any text here so you can see how you can modify it. And then you can change the color and you can change the value of each. So let's say here I have 10% and up here I have 25% and the last one 45% and then I change the color of each of them. So then this acts as sort of a bar chart but with just individual bars that you can adjust with your own colors and text. So this is a very simple and quick way to create this kind of visualization. And then we also have semicircles where you have different values and here you see you can also use a slider to adjust the value or you can insert it manually. So this is also very handy to create very quick mini visualizations. If I want to compare, for example, three different values and place them next to each other like this. And then we have um, these pie charts as well where you only have one value that you want to display. You can also do that here. So I can insert the value and I can also add a stroke or not. I can change the color. And then we also have these linear bars which are similar to these over here on the left side. So it's basically the same concept. They're single bars and you just insert your value and then the size of the bar just uh, in correspondence with the value. And you can add text as well in here, which will appear down here, and you can change the color as well. You can even add roundness to it or not. And basically what you can do with this is add several of them so then it acts as a bar chart. 
And finally, we also have this vertical meter here, which is also useful for visualizing um, single uh, amounts. So for example, if it's out of 100 and I want to display a percentage of, let's say, 68%, I can do that with this visualization. And so the data is just vertically represented instead of horizontal. And you can do the same thing with the other ones as well. You can change the color of the text and you can apply your own text. So we also have this digital dial where if you want to, for example, display just a single number. So let's say I have a number 680. You can do that here. You can also add or delete the number of digits. So here only three digits. So that's useful for displaying just single individual units or individual numbers. So now let's go into one of the new infographic widgets that Visme launched in the past few weeks. The first is called the clock and to use it, all you have to do is click on it so it appears on your stage and then you resize it and reposition it as needed. And so let's say you wanna show a slide with the times in different locations. So you can do that here by inserting the clock and then you can choose from different styles so you have this very minimalist clock that doesn't show any numbers just a second hand and then you have this one that has numbers and then you have a digital clock so you can choose any of these options and then you can choose to display the real time which is the time on your computer and you can activate that or deactivate that and then you can decide to show the seconds or a.m. and p.m. So the second uh, data visualization which so the second uh, data visualization tool that Visme launched in the past few weeks is called the counter. And this is especially useful if you want to conduct a quiz or you want to pose a question to your audience and you want to give them a time limit. So to do that, you just click on the counter and then you reposition it where you want it to be. And you can choose from three different styles. So we have here this style or this style, and they basically show the same information. It's just a number of seconds that you're giving your audience. So let's say I want to give them 60 seconds, which is already inputted here. You can also change the value manually and you can change the amount of time in minutes or hours as well. So here I can also adjust the percentage of time that is visualized. So I want to give them the full 60 seconds. So I put it up to 100 percent. And then I can also change the color scheme. So Visme has 50 presets already built into the system. So you can choose from any of these different color schemes. And so let's say I want to apply um, this scheme right here at the top. So to do that, all I have to do is choose from these different colors. And I change my text color. I change the background as well. I can change the, the range color. And then I can also invert it if I want. If I don't like that, I can do that easily too. So then when I go to preview, you can see how your audience is going to view this when you give the presentation live. So you see here that the counter is displaying the number of seconds that are transcurring. So this is very useful for people to visualize the actual amount of time that they have left to answer this question. And it gives them that sense of urgency and it allows you to create your presentation in a very interactive way. Another way to apply the counter is by using it as a timer on each of your slides. So let's say you want to rehearse your presentation and you want to give yourself a time limit for each slide. So let's say I want to give myself two minutes per slide. I can do that by inserting the counter and then I all I have to do is insert the time here. And then when I go to preview, I'll see the time transcurring and that's going to guide me as I rehearse. So that's also a very useful application for instances where you have a very strict time limit and you really have to rehearse your presentation and your delivery. Another way you can apply the timer is by displaying the current time in, for example, a situation where you're giving a test to an audience or a classroom full of students and you want them to view the current time throughout the activity or through your presentation. So what you can do is that you can have the instructions here for them and then right next to it, you can have the current time. And so they know exactly what time they have to have this assignment ready by. So let's say they have to turn it in by six o'clock. They can visualize the current time here as well.